Hey guys, today I just wanted to sit down and have a play with my makeup and this is what I came up with. I really like the end result so if you want to see how I did it then just keep watching. So I've already gone ahead and I just primed my lips first just to give them some moisture. This is the Bobbi Brown Extra Smoothing Balm. Sign Hydratant. Hydrant. It's a lip balm. <laughs> so I've just popped that on and now I'm going to go ahead and do my brows. Voila! I have eyebrows. <laughs> so I've gone ahead and also primed and set my eyelids ready for eyeshadow. And I'm thinking I'm going to do something pink and gold today. Not exactly sure how it's going to turn out, but I'm going to give it a go. Okay guys, I'm going to show you what I've done so far on this eye because I just deleted my footage because I was going to start again because I wasn't really happy with it. But I got up and looked in the mirror and it looks almost better in the mirror than on camera which is a shame but I'm going to keep going and hope that it just comes full circle in the end but I used this brown in the Morphe palette, Pollop <laughs> palette just to run through my crease so we've got a nice transition from lid to crease so I'm just going to go ahead and do that and I'm keeping it darkest on the outer third and in the middle and then once I've got hardly any product left on my brush, that's when I'll go into the inner third because I want it to go, you know, have a nice gradient from darker to lighter. Just through the crease anyway. So stopping here and blending back and forth until most of the product on my brush is gone. Now I can come into the inner third. Going to take a clean fluffy brush. And just blend the edges some more. So I ended up taking this Body Shop Shimmer Cube. It wasn't that pigmented um, for my actual eyelid, so I'm going to save that and use it for my inner, inner, inner corner highlight because I think it will be really pretty for that. But for my actual inner corner, I took my actual inner corner. For my actual eyelid, I took this um, pigment by MAC, it's called Pink, it's just a MAC Pro pigment, a little sample of it, um, and a pointed crease brush, and I'm just going to pack that on the inner half of my eyelid. I'm really sorry if my computer sounds like a fucking jet plane, I don't know what it's up to. Every time I use um, the software that I use to film, it just like starts humming like crazy. My audio will be much better once I get a microphone, guys. It's coming. So I'm just using the pointed crease brush because it's easier to get into this little section here. And then I'm going to go ahead and use a different brush once I've got it packed in there to fill the rest of the eyelid, or the rest of that half. So now I'm going to use this side of my Smashbox, Smashbox <laughs> brush and pack that on top. I thought this shadow was going to be way more pigmented than it is but it's quite powdery. Easy to blend but not very pigmented. Now I'm going to go over the top of that with this really pale pink shade from my Morphe palette. Cool, now I'm going to go in with this, it's like an orangey gold from the same Morphe palette and pack that on the outer half of my eyelid. I just don't really want to take this into the crease too much so I'm using the brush to kind of make a guideline for where I want to stop. Okay, over that kind of orangey gold on the outside. I'm going to put this colour called Lovely by Colourpop. It's a really pretty champagne gold colour and it's just going to dull down the orange a little bit. I'm going to deepen the outer corners with this really dark plummy shade. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to leave the eyes, they're just frustrating me. Not loving them, but I'm hoping 
they may work out by the time we come to the end. Anywho, I'm gonna zoom back out because that is freaky as shit being that close. Okay, gonna go in with my Black Cosmetics Veil Mineral Primer. Gonna be fancy and use it on a brush today. Favorite primer ever. It makes your skin feel so smooth. I love this stuff. Now I did fake tan last night, so I'm gonna use my Cover FX Custom Cover Drops because it's the closest color I've got that will make my face match my neck. Let's throw this back. Get it out of the way. Okay, wiping it. Oh yeah, I think this will be a good colour match. We'll see. Coming straight off after I film this anyway because I'm going to the gym. It's my favourite class is on Friday and it's Friday. Blend it down the neck. And the ears. It's a pretty good colour guys. Pretty good. So tricky to go around your eyebrows without fucking them up when you do them before your foundation, you know? Oh my god! I ordered shape tape. Fuck yes. I'm so excited. God, 20 years after it bloody came out. I also ordered some other Tarte goodies. What did I get? I got the Tarte Lip Paint in Salty because I saw... T what did I say? Tammy Hembrow and she, I mean... Obviously she's stunning so it's going to look good on her but I love the colour so I ordered that and then my best friend um, did her brows the other day using this tart like, I think it's the Amazonian clay, like the like the pomade stuff. And so I ordered that because I tried hers and I really loved it. And then only because I needed $15 more to make free shipping I'd rather you know get another product than pay whatever the international shipping would be. So I got this like mini skincare bundle and it comes with like the under eye patches that you see everyone might put in the fridge and then put under their eyes and it comes with a little uh, one of those gel moisturizers. I'm not sure what it's called but I've always wanted to try it. What else? Came with something else. I'll show you when I get it because I've ordered I've ordered a bunch of makeup recently. Oh, I've also got an alarm on my phone. This is how serious I take it. <laughs> um, for Sunday at 5 a.m. Yep, Cole is not going to be happy about that. But that's when the Manny MUA and Jeffree Star collab comes out. Um, and I need it. I need it in my life. I don't want it, I need it. And it comes out in the US on Saturday, which in New Zealand is Sunday at 5 a.m. But you know, someone's got to take one for the team, so I'm happy to put my hand up and say I'll do it. And, and, this never happens, I never order this much makeup in one go. But I've also pre-ordered the Carly Bybel um, BH palette. I didn't even know it was coming out until I saw her Snapchat and she was like, available, available for pre-order. And I was like, it'd be rude not to, right? So I pre-ordered that as well. Pretty excited! I feel like all my makeup is so old and stale. I just need... I just need some new stuff to play with, you know? And I was trying to wait until I went overseas so I could get it kind of through duty free or on the other side in Europe where hopefully it's going to be a lot cheaper than... Oh, I have a nose booger. Hopefully a lot cheaper than it is in New Zealand because everything in New Zealand is so goddamn expensive. Okay, I like my foundation today. Look how uneven my fucking eyes are. I'm gonna get um, Botox on this one. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not. But I just wish my eyes were more even. But I mean, if that's the biggest problem in my life right now, I guess that's alright. For concealer, I'm using this one that I used yesterday. This is the Healthy Mix um, Radiance and Anti Fatigue Concealer. It's just the Healthy Mix by Bourgeois. 
and I liked it so I'm gonna use it again oh that's good it's, it's not white white against my tan which I was worried about I think it will be fine sorry if my computer is still humming guys I just I was gonna do a voiceover but all my last videos have been voiceover because of this problem but when I watch YouTube videos like chit chats or makeup tutorials I always prefer when the person's actually like talking to the camera because I feel like it's just a lot more personal and I enjoy watching those videos a lot better so I was like fuck it I'm gonna see how it goes hopefully the computer's not too loud for you guys I'll just put some sweet background music in to try hide it <laughs> did you guys see my last video when I did my highlighter on my forehead and down my nose I drew a penis and I didn't even realize until I went through and edited it <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay, just gonna go wet my beauty blender. Have you have uh, have you guys ever tried blending in your um, concealer foundation anything with a dry beauty blender because you're too lazy to go wet it? It's horrible. Just wet your beauty blender guys. Just get up, just get up and go and wet your beauty blender. Doing your makeup will be so much easier. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer with my Cover Effects Perfect Setting Powder. setting powder for my face that is probably the right color for my fake tan so I'm going to use the closest thing I've got to it which is my Australis Fresh and Flawless powder wherever that is. Found it. This stuff. This is in the color darkest brown although it's not really that dark. So I think I'm just going to go hand with bronzer just because I faked tan today to kind of get my face color to where it's supposed to be. I might actually go in and finish my under eyes first before I continue with my skin. So I'm gonna use a pointed crease brush and I'm gonna go in with... <coughs> oh, sorry guys. I'm gonna go in with the same brown that I used for my crease, which is this one here, and pop that underneath. And also try to connect the eyeshadow on the top down to the lower lash line. That was terrible explaining. You guys know what I mean. Connect the top to the bottom. Oh girl. I've just gone too far down on the old, like where I've tried to connect it. It's kind of like blown out too much. So. I'll finish on my lower lash line and then I'll show you guys how to fix that. I'm then going to use the same brush and just go in with an even darker brown and put that on the outer third. So to fix this mess I made here, I've just come too low with my eyeshadow and it's not the same angle as my other eye. So I'm going to take a brush like this and my translucent powder. And I'm just going to lay the powder over the top of the shadow that's come too low. So just pressing it on like so. And I'm just going to leave that there while I do my bronzer. So for bronzer, I'm going to use this one first. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Oh my god. It's alright. Um, I'm going to use this to bronze my face. But I'm also going to um, spread it out quite far and use it as a slight face powder at the same time just because I think my face is still a little lighter than my fake tan. I'm 
I'm then also going to take Give Me Sun My Mac, and this is a much more orangey bronzer. I mean, usually you don't want to hear the words orange in bronzer, but this one is a bit orangey. It's really good for like darker, more medium to darker skin types, but I can still use it when I have a fake tan. So I'm going to take this Real Techniques brush. Do you see this orange sticker? This has been on this brush for about, I don't know, three years because my friends back when I worked full time went through my bag and put orange stickers on everything because they thought it was funny. And I haven't taken it off my brush. <laughs> so this brush is really nice because it really like softly disperses the product so you don't get any harsh lines which is really nice when you're dealing with bronzer. Bronzer helmet. I don't know if I want to contour. I don't contour every day. Hmm. I might do a little bit. Just for the purpose of this video. So I'm going to use my Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Contour Kit. I love this stuff because the powders are so creamy. They're really easy to blend out and I only need a little bit. I kind of just hit all the same spots, but I'm a little more like direct. I don't, um, like you don't want it as obviously dispersed as the bronzer. It's more kind of pinpointed in the natural hollows of like your cheeks or where you would naturally have shadows. You just try to emphasize them. I'm just going to use a clean fluffy brush because there's a bit too much on this cheek for my liking. I'm kind of all over the show, like I haven't finished my eyes but I've moved on to my cheeks. God. Okay, I'm going to finish my eyes and I'm going to put a black in my waterline and I'm going to use my Langhome. This is Les Stylo waterproof eyeliner. I really like this one, it's got a little smudgy on the end. I'm also going to line my upper waterline, the inner bit, which I hate doing but it makes the world of difference. Ugh. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, so my camera stopped recording, so I finished um, putting my eyeliner on and I put, oh my god! I was gonna say I put a coat of mascara on and I put glue on my lashes so I could let them go tacky. Fuck. Anyway, I've got a coat of mascara on so I'm gonna pop these eyelashes on if there's any glue left on them. Apparently you shouldn't use tweezers to put your eyelashes on because they're unsafe for your eyes. I don't know how I... I would do it. Ooh. I am now going to put my eyebrows on, oh, put my eyebrows in place with my Black Cosmetics eyebrow gel. I do this after all my powders because the powders will probably get through my eyebrows or like when I'm doing my bronzer I'll brush my eyebrow the wrong way so I always do this last. Okay lower lashes. Maybelline Big Eyes, you know the drill. Guys, it's Easter next weekend. Because I really need an excuse to eat chocolate. I, last night, was craving chocolate so bad and I bought myself one of those like skinny Whitaker's dark chocolate, like the 70% ones, because I try to be healthy most of the time and um, I go to the gym every day so I don't want to ruin it with but, well, not every day, but I, I like going to the gym. I don't necessarily like eating healthy, <laughs> but I try. So I bought uh, myself a Whitaker's dark chocolate to try and combat the chocolate cravings, but it's Shark Week and dark chocolate just doesn't cut it sometimes. 
And so last night, when I was complaining about it, Cole said he had a stash of chocolate somewhere that he hides from me. And I thought he was all shit because if there's chocolate in the house, surely I would know about it. But he did have a stash and he pulled out pods and M&Ms and then fucking five minutes later, I've eaten a whole bag of pods. Ugh. So I'm actually excited to go to the gym because I need to work some of that off. But honestly, when it's Shark Week, it's, it's my ovaries eating the pods. It's not me, it's my ovaries. I can't help it. All willpower goes out the window and I surrender. Moving on to blush, I'm using my Milani Luminoso. I love this blush so much. I love the slight sheen this blush has got too. I don't know if you can see, but it makes your skin look really healthy. Okay, for highlighter, I'm gonna use my favorite highlighter ever, my Black Cosmetics Golden Glow. I haven't found a highlighter I like more than this. It's just like the color of it, like you'd think there'd be a lot of good gold highlighters out there because I just feel like gold's such an obvious color, but there's not really any that many really nice kind of champagne goldy colors um so that's one of the reasons why i like it also the pigmentation of this is amazing and it's a blinding glow it's not a subtle uh, from within glow it's like i can see your highlighter girl oh you can see it you can see it this truly blows all of my other highlighters out of the water like i'm obsessed So you can see my nose from space. Whoa. I'm also going to layer it on my inner corners on top of that pink because it's not quite bright enough. Just a little bit though. Yeah, I much prefer that. Oh. I want to take my Real Technique sponge and whatever powder I have left over and just sharpen up this I just find it really cleans up the bronzer and um, I like the difference it makes to how kind of clean your makeup looks for lips I'm going to use this um, Kylie Lip Kit in the color True Brown K this was the first one I ever bought and it still might be one of my favorites. I just, I love bold lips. Like I really, on a day to day, will do anything on my eyes. Like, not even shadows. Like, it'll just be um, mascara. And maybe like a bit of inner corner highlight. And like, that's it. And so I'll always rock a bold lip to make it look like I've tried. But I just prefer a lip to an eye. I know that's not usually the case. But that's how I like my makeup. But these lip liners are so nice and creamy as well, like they're so easy to apply, they don't like skip, that's the worst thing trying to get a crisp line when your lip liner skips, and these don't, and they're really nice. I love this colour, it reminds me of like of chocolate I just oh. sorry guys camera died again so I just finished putting on that lip I love this camera so much now looking at my face I'm gonna go in and darken my brows I love a really dark brow but I also kind of like to just like see what my face is gonna look like at the end as to whether it's gonna be too much or not but I think I can pull it off so I'm gonna use a little bit embarrassed to show you guys it's so dirty um Natio eyebrow kit and I'm not going to change the shape, I'm just going to darken them up a little. Much better. Love a dark brow. So I'm just going to get rid of this fake. So I'm not going to set my face because I'm literally just washing this off to go to the gym. This is the finished look. Um, to be honest, I'm not 
in love with the eyes. I like it as like a full circle look, but on your own. Not my favorite I've ever done and not colors I would normally wear, but I just wanted to try something different and I'm not mad at it. I don't, you know, it's what ifs. I like the whole look together. I really think like the lips make it work. Um, and I like my skin, how it turned out, like that foundation, super nice. So the dark brown, the lips I'm in love with. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.